Hey guys, this is the second new tool I started using. It's called Traffic, and it's an alternative to using uh, Nginx. It is a reverse proxy, and it's made with Golang, and I really liked it. And I really also like this cute little logo it has right here. Um, and here are the features it has, and it's really awesome. I was having trouble with Nginx. It was working for basic things, but one of the big problems I was having was trying to get it set up with HTTPS. I got it to work with Let's Encrypt, but uh, I didn't get it in an automated fashion where it would auto um, update itself or renew itself because you need to update the certificate every month or so. So what I ended up doing was I, I would set up like a cron job that would check and then restart the uh, certificate had needs updating it would update and then restart the nginx um, con configuration but it started to get complicated and not work very well so i was looking for other options because i really wasn't using nginx for much stuff and the configuration was really cryptic to me i didn't like how they did their configuration files and i wasn't really happy with nginx i was just kind of using it because i saw that as a popular option so I was seeing if there was anything else I could use and I came across this guy and I really liked it when I started using it. Uh, it's pretty popular on GitHub too. I think it has like 14k stars and uh, the killer feature here is twofold. The first is super easy Let's Encrypt support. Um, this is awesome because I wanted to set up HTTPS for my server and uh, what I had to do, they have a nice little documentation tutorial on it that I ended up doing and this is all you have to put. So I specify my domain right here. This is what the configuration file looked like that I used and uh, my email and that's it. It'll automatically fill this Acme JSON script with all the things that it needs to do to connect to Let's Encrypt and make sure you get the certificates and get it all set up and it was super awesome. So that was one thing I really liked about it. And the second part was uh, metrics. So I wanted to keep track of uh, basically what was happening with Nginx, but it didn't seem like it was very easy to do. And it looks like you had to pay um, to upgrade to get metrics or any kind of logging with Nginx, at least more than the very basic stuff. So with traffic, it comes with, and it has this nice little page here, just default. And then it also hooks up with some other places. Um, there's actually this one logging place I'm tr I'm going to be looking into. It's not a place, but it's an open source called Prometheus or something like that. Uh, I think they talk about it here. I forget how to say it. Um, here's metrics. Um, this place. Uh, I'm going to be trying this out. I've seen a lot of people recommend it, but I haven't tried it yet. But you can hook this up into that and get that working. So I want to try that out. And it looked like it had a lot of the same features or the features that I needed and uh, seemed easier to set up. So I gave it a try and I'm enjoying it. And I'll let you guys know more as I'm using it more. But uh, this is the default little admin page you can see. And I can just like, it's a Docker container too that I just start running. If I refresh it a couple times, we can see um, the average response time and it takes account of the status code. So that was 400 because I don't have any containers running right now. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this so far and if you're not enjoying Nginx and you're thinking of adding a reverse proxy I would recommend this if you're not even sure Why to use Nginx or use a reverse proxy for me? I was setting up a uh, I was running to run an express server on a uh, VPS so DigitalOcean or Vulture or EC2 instance on AWS and I needed something to uh, load balance and to sit in front and uh, direct traffic. So maybe I want to send some requests to my express server and then other requests somewhere else. And so this sits in front and basically protects my server. So it's uh, recommended to do that instead of having your express server or whatever server you have directly connected to the internet is to have this sit in front. Um, yeah, so this is the other cool tool I just started using that I really liked. I just wanted to let you guys know. I'll probably be doing a tutorial with this soon as I get better with it and start using it more um, and figuring out some of the cool stuff you can do with it. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.